right. We are here with Anthony Sansonetti, uh, the coach of Team Renegade, a very successful uh, amateur MMA team going so far. Doing good. Wish the guys could fight more, but it's hard finding promotions. Well, Legalized in New York, please. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you guys are pretty much uh, all over on the New Jersey scene. And uh, actually, one of your fighters, Ben Sires, is the Evolution Amateur MMA Fighting Champion. That's him making noise in the background on the bags. He is? Oh, yeah. Okay. And Ben hits hard. In fact, he uh, had a viral video where he knocked out his opponent in four seconds. Yes, he did. And it's uh, all over the internet, so uh, Google Ben Sires if you want to see that. Ben is, um, I believe, because uh, he was injured, he's healing now. He's doing physical therapy. He'll be fighting Caleb Solano, who's the interim champion at Evolution. And uh, hopefully if all goes to plans, their show comes off in July, they'll fight each other. Ben will definitely be ready, definitely be healthy, um, and he, he's going gonna to fight and he's going to defend his belt. So. Right. And uh, in addition uh, to running the team, uh, mm -hmm. Anthony is also a world-class Sambo player, and he has just brought the silver home from the Dutch Open in Holland. Yes. And uh, so you had four almost, matches. Almost got the gold, but mm -hmm. you know, I like silver nice and better luck. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so take us through the matches. The first match, uh, what happened? Uh, first match, I threw my opponent, held him down, uh, got my points. Uh, Went, uh, went for an armbar, transitioned to a reverse armbar. Uh, pretty fancy um, transition if you go and look it up, you, you, know, you can see it, you can see that match. Um, so I tapped him out with that second match. I threw my opponent with an inside sweep and then a quick transition to knee bar. Third match, I went against a pretty experienced judo guy from France and uh, we went the whole time. I won 3 nothing on, on throws. Got uh, two throws, one for two points, one for one point. It's, uh, it's a sambo throw. We call it, call it the bull, but it's pretty hard to. Uh, if I had the, the sambo jacket, I'd show you. Uh, and in the last match, I went against my teammate, Doug Fournay, who also won his first three matches. So we made it to the finals versus each other, and I lost 4 0, uh, but we went the whole distance. He threw me with an Uchimata or a Padvat. Call it sambo Russian. Um, but it was a good match. Uh, it was it was good. Doug's really tough, you know. And um, I was happy with how I did and how everyone uh, in that came over for the American team. Actually, we had three gold medals and one silver medal. So even with the silver, I underperformed for the team. But uh, uh, I'm happy we didn't. Uh, you know, we scored. American scored the highest in each of the divisions we competed in. So let's get we're getting back on the scene at that tournament, the Dutch Open. There hasn't been an American team for at least eight or nine years. I was talking to the director of that, and he said, nah, they didn't do as good as you guys did. You know? So I think American Sambo is making a comeback. Uh, definitely the American Sambo community is. Uh, last year, I took gold and silver in two different divisions at the British Open, and um, as did uh, Doug Fournay, who took gold in his division last year. Um, I'm thinking about doing another tournament, maybe in Paris in, in May, if I can uh, get my airline miles straightened out. <laughs> and, uh, and, and maybe the Masters world is, World's in, in Greece, I think if I, if I do good again, another international tournament, I don't think there'll be a problem with going there. But um, I was happy with how, how I did in Holland. The, you know, I trained hard, but with all the guys training for MMA, I was a little distracted. I didn't get to train with the... My great friend Sambo Steve in Manhattan, I get to make any trips in. And usually that helps me stay focused because uh, he's, he's my teacher and, and yeah, he helps me work out like the kinks in my game, and me through drills. And I was able to do that and I still performed well. So I'm really motivated to train hard, um, maybe get a little stronger, a little bigger, push myself a little more and see what I can achieve this year because I'm going to be 37. So how many more years do I have to compete? Uh, but I'd like to try the world. So well, you know, uh, you, you mentioned that you weren't able to train with Sambo Steve, and uh, I know that you were here training your guys. Uh, you know, you had uh, Taylor Costantino, mm -hmm. who was going to be competing. Uh, that match kind of fell apart. Yeah. So you were here that, you know, those past couple of weeks when you should have been training the Sambo, you were like yeah. relentlessly training Taylor. Yes, because yeah, it, it was. That's more important as a coach for MMA. I have to make sure my guys are prepared first. Second, you know, 
my competition is is second in my mind. I mean, to be a responsible coach is important. And um, you know, he was all set to go. His opponent didn't get his blood work in on time, and you know, the fight got canceled like on two days' notice. So it was very disappointing, and, uh, especially because his opponent was at the show. He didn't, you know, they didn't even come over and like say, "Hey, sorry about that. You know, sorry about making you train for six weeks." You know, four hours a night. I mean, you can attest to that, right? Is, is he not here four hours a night? Oh, absolutely. And uh, he and, was in the zone. Uh, he was murderous yeah. looking, this so, guy. It's upsetting. I'm trying to get him on the show. Uh, I'm trying to get him to bring a, bring a combat amateur show in New Jersey. Or uh, there's another show in April. But uh, it, it's, not, it's not getting put together well. I think there's so many fighters trying to get him on the show. There's not a lot of spots. So, um, But he, he's ready to go. And I know Evolution. I love Evolution. But I don't think they have another show until July, which is, I, he, I want him to fight before that. So if you're watching this and you know promotion, you need a 147 pound fighter that is tough, well trained, good grappling, striking, clinch, condition, all blood work, the medical is done, you know. And we'll bring, you know, we sold like uh, 25 tickets to that, to that show before we knew it was canceled. I mean, you know, people come out and see him. I think he has friends. I don't know why, but, but uh, he's he's a tough kid though. He, he really, he's really going to be a good one, you know. Like uh, like Ben, I think we have uh, our second monster mm -hmm. in, the, uh, in the works. Now to get back to the sambo, uh, that was Holland was not the first time you competed overseas. Actually, no. last year you competed at the mm -hmm. British Open. Yeah, I said that. You missed it. <laughs> and uh, brought home the gold. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. And I just wanted to make people aware of the gold medal. Uh, so yeah. uh, you're used to you know competing internationally. Uh, sambo is an international sport. Yeah, um, well, I think you've, you've helped me a lot too, Garf, with, uh, well, definitely with my interviews. I think I'm getting better. You're yeah, right, that, yeah. and I'm your grappling dummy sometimes. <laughs> now, <laughs> well, you're kind of smart. You're a grappling smarty. Uh, here at Team Renegade, yeah. what you do is, uh, you know, this kickboxing. You, I you just do. yell at the guys and, <laughs> and, and hope they win. That's really what, but, that's our formula. Well, point. Sambo is actually a part of the curriculum here. Yes. And so, uh, you know. I, I really, I love Sambo. I like, I, I love MMA. I, I like Nogi grappling. I like kickboxing. I, I really love doing Sambo. It's fun. And, and the reason I got into Sambo was back in 2004. I've been doing martial arts my, my whole life since I was a kid. Is uh, I wanted to, I was told, uh, actually when I went out to Team Quest in Oregon, they said, you know, try to get a hold of wrestlers, other people to train with. And I, I called up my, uh, uh, this guy who I met, Sambo Steve, I'm like, hey man, I want to train a little Sambo cross train. He, you know, came out and I, you know, I really, you know, slowly really liked to, you know, the training with the jacket and the, the throws and, uh, you know. I had done judo before, but I, I never really liked judo as much. I think the rules, although the techniques are very similar, the rules of judo, um, are, are very different than Sambo. So, uh, I, I like Sambo. The guys do Sambo here, they, they really like it too. And, uh, Good for MMA, yeah. and Fedor says it's uh, the best uh, discipline for MMA. So yeah, what do you think he's got to get back on a win streak, though. Yeah. We're looking forward to that. Yeah, I actually uh, had my Fedor shirt on today, man. I was teaching over at another gym today, and I uh, walked in with my Fedor shirt from, uh, from that last Strike Force event there. I like that shirt, but. Uh, and you trained a little bit with Fedor at the seminar. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oleg cool. Savitsky uh, had uh, set that up. That was nice. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, uh, Zealous, Zealous Nation. Zealous Nation. Z uh, Zealous Nation. Yes. Yep. MMA in, uh, in New Jersey. And uh, yeah, that was really cool. It was a seminar. It was a lot of people, so it wasn't you know wasn't as hands on. But a couple little tricks that he did, I, I thought were pretty interesting. You know, uh, picked up a couple couple things. So it was back. In the summer. And hopefully some of the aura, you know. A <laughs> favor, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, uh, we are looking... He's not as big as you would think, you know. Yeah, but he's pretty wide, though. Yeah. You know, a lot, a lot of the Sambo physique seems to be, uh, you know, really wide and, and powerful, guys. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> camera up here. <laughs> so, uh, and we are at Team Renegade right now, as you can yeah. see, uh, the guys are training. What, what's going on here? You know, it's pretty late, so... Uh, only the hardcore guys are, are remaining right now, yeah. and uh, so we're looking forward to seeing you at the French Samba. What's it called, French Samba? If, if I do that one, that would be um, it's the, the Great Prize of Paris, the, the Paris Grand Prix. It's called, and uh, you know, they ha they they have like six or seven countries that usually go and do that. You know, uh, competing that. And um, I'm thinking about doing just because I could, like I said, I could do some airline miles to go over there and do it. And, uh, 
I, want, I got the competition bug, you know, which, um, which is good. Usually I like to only compete once a year. I just competed, what, two weeks ago, and I'm, I'm itching to go again. Mm -hmm. So, um, And where can people look at uh, Team Renegade? Where can they follow? Oh, well, they can go to thegar.com. Well, that's the Team Renegade section. <laughs> I wasn't looking for a plug. Yeah. I was actually looking for uh, renegademma.com. Oh, dot TV. Dot TV, yeah. Renegademma.tv. Yeah, dot com was taken. Yeah. Renegade uh, MMA TV or on YouTube Team Renegade MMA you can see all the videos you know or, or on Facebook uh, Team Renegade New York we have a Facebook right. uh, page too and now that you mentioned thegarb.com you could also uh, I there's a tab at the top uh, where I put up videos like this one mm -hmm. uh, where people can watch and follow Team Renegade uh, via the videos and articles that we do when are you gonna get out there and compete Garb? I am, uh, well, you know what? I'm enjoying, I'm loving my training here. Mm. In May, it'll be a year solid with you guys. Uh, and I train everything that you teach. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to compete MMA, but uh, I will definitely be doing some grappling competitions. Yeah, I look forward to it. All right. And we'll edit that out. <laughs> nope, and plenty of street fights. You know me. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep you out of the bars, man. <laughs> All right. Anthony Sansonetti, thanks a lot. Thank you.